Well, hello, Bob Dendry here, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, The Long Game. So, last week we set up a new sort of source of uh, feeder materials for our food processing plant, and we also got in to service a new branch line to Salem. I'm sitting here with my cat Pumpkin, he's uh, lying on the desk, so if you hear any bangs, crashes or meows, you can blame him for it. Anyway, let's get to the meat of the episode. So what I'd like to focus on today is I would like to extend our Cross River Main Line from Everett through to Wilmington and finally to Dayton where the line will terminate. Um, that'll give us the opportunity to branch off from there, build some other lines. And I'd also like to start sort of diversifying where we're getting some of our goods from. So if we look over here, you can see we've got a few different options of um, things we could potentially do. We've got a steel mill over here. We've also got a uh, sawmill over here as well, and those are both nice and close to our machine factory. So potentially we could look to shift some of those, um, you know, those requirements over to these two nearby industries. We've also got a few other things around the place. We've got some, some food processing plants. Uh, we've got a lot of oil, though I can't see a fuel refinery nearby, so that potentially might have closed down. But I think it's going to be just nice and easy to start by building up our passenger line and we can go from there. Looking at Wilmington, our passenger buildings are on this side of the town, so that should be fairly easy to set up. We might set up a new uh, road to sort of cover off uh, those requirements. Might make it a bit of a weird road. Um, but it should hopefully be all right. We'll also need to look at setting up some public transport for these towns as well. Then over to Dayton. Dayton is a little bit more spread out, uh, which means we might need to do a bit of our own sort of um, structuring of the town. But I think if we hook in a road here, uh, yep, and we're already encouraging some more development there, and we will get a station in here it'll be an end station and i think we might start with a four track platform there and that will allow us to have some you know some new lines to load off in other directions over towards richmond and el paso should we want to now we just need to get them hooked up I'm actually going to slightly redo this um because i want to probably avoid the oil fields if I can. So we don't have like too many uh, crossings we're making. Alrighty, we'll get a few passing loops in here as well and then we should be good to extend the lines. Now, something we're going to need to keep in mind, and I'm going to need to specifically remember when I'm building um, trains and stuff like that, is that this specific station here at Everett is only 240 metres long. We could look to extend it to 320 down the line, um, but we just built it as 240 metres due to the, uh, um, just the constraints in terms of where the roads were. So I need to remember that. But yeah, other than that, we can get the, uh, the line extended. And let's see how that goes. All right, so I want to get some food set up for Dayton here. Um, we have some farms and food processing plants over here, the vanilla kind. And what I'm thinking we could potentially do is take some grain over to our food processing plant, and then we can run a train through Dayton, uh, stop there and unload, and then on to Everett potentially, uh, which doesn't have any food at the moment. So we're going to start setting that up um, and it will be run as a rail line. Once again, we just don't have the right um, road vehicles to be able to support doing this via the road as better and I guess cheaper it would be to do it that way. It's just not gonna be very efficient. Yep, 
Get out of there, mate. All right, we've got a bit of a messy station there, but it will work, I think. Hopefully. Um, and that will allow us to bring in our, uh, our food. And we will need to set up a bit of a distribution network as well to make that work. All right, now let's get our train set up here. So we want a nice long, 320 meter long train uh, from our farm. And as you would know, our um, sort of ratio is two grain to one food. So we want a like a 160 meter long food train potentially. But let's see how it works out anyway. Might also get a new train depot in. We've been using the same one <laughs> at, um, at LA this whole time. So it might be time to expand. And we'll be using one of these Central Pacific trains for our brain. Beautiful. And over here at Everett, we will also get a goods platform on. Once again, keeping in mind, this is only 240 meters long. While we're here, we may as well get some uh, um, passenger or some commuter connection set up because a fair bit of our residential isn't covered by the station. So might as well get a few stops set up. We can probably go with maybe two. We don't really need to do too much, do we? Next, let's get our food train set up. This one will be traveling on a main line, so we will be using a 460 for this one. And we'll take it up to 240 um, for the moment. We can potentially expand it a bit more, but obviously we are constrained by the fact that Everett is only a 240 meter long platform. But I think we'll be all right. Also need to actually connect this up, don't we? All right, now we'll get our freight loops set up and we'll also get the passenger loop set up in um, Everett as well. Cool, so that'll allow this town to grow a bit more and it'll also get more passengers to our station. I also wanna take the opportunity while we're doing all this to continue the duplication of our Cross River main line, which is duplicated up to about here or so. So we've still got a little way to go. Uh, we want to go, I think, at least to Oklahoma City, um, maybe through to Glendale even. Uh, we'll probably just do the section to Oklahoma City at this point. Just realized with this one, I've got the sort of primary movements on the wrong tracks, but eh, yeah, we should probably fix it. Otherwise it's gonna make everything a little bit ugly and not as nice moving. Do we have any new bridges we can build yet, or are we still stuck on these old stone ones? I'm guessing we're probably still stuck on the old stone ones. Let's uh, put one out here and see if there's anything new. Nope. Oh.
All right, there we go. So we're all set up now with a new double track section of our Cross River mainline through to Oklahoma City. And I think that looks pretty good and should really increase our throughput, especially in these sort of, uh... oh, hello. Wow, that is very close. Yeah, I think it'll be good. I think I'm going to make some changes to our food line that goes through to Santa Rosa. I want to add an additional stop in LA. Now, LA keeps having um, a couple of buildings pop up that need food and then they just disappear again, obviously because they're not getting any service. So what I think we might actually do is run our food train through to LA South where our goods factory is. So it can essentially take that opportunity to drop off some food if there's any available. Um, and it can just be taken into town via the, the regular freight service that's been serving the town with goods for a while. I don't know if that's going to work, but I'm willing to give it a go. So we'll just add this additional station here. Um, it's going to add a little bit to the journey length, but not too much. And it's not going to be too onerous now that we do have a um, uh, double tracked, you know, the whole way now, pretty much. I actually realized it's not double track the whole way. We've got this little section here uh, that is still single track, which is going to be a major bottleneck considering we've got double track for days on either side. Um, so yeah, we're going to fix that up. Wait, why are you going this way to get to Wichita Falls? That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to pretend it's not happening for the moment, and uh, but we might need to add some waypoints and stuff to our network, potentially, if um, it continues to happen. It might, might just be because we've done some, um, like a few changes to the network. Actually, where have you gone? I just want to check the network. How does the network show? No, so it doesn't show doing anything silly here. Um, so I think we're okay. I'm actually considering double tracking this section here as well. This is going to be a bit of a um, um, issue in terms of bottlenecking, but it won't be as bad as uh, I think it was before. We might pull this one a bit away from the station. and make a, a new connection there. All right, so now we're all double tracked. Also just realized we actually haven't built our headquarters. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so we want to locate that nice and close to our main LA hub station, I think. So I'll chuck that in now. We also can pay off all of our loan. Look at that. Amazing, we don't have a loan. Whoa. So let's get our company headquarters in. Right here, nice and nearby to our station. And that is beautiful. Look at that. Lovely. We're going to take the opportunity to upgrade our slower train running on our Cross River mainline as well. So it's still running as a, a 440. Um, so we'll switch it up to run one of our, uh, our 10 wheelers, I think. But we probably don't need a 460. We'll go with the 10 wheeler. And that should allow the train to run a lot faster as well, and we can extend the length down the line if we want to. Now for today's ride along, we're gonna do something a little bit different. So we've been focusing on passenger ride alongs the last few weeks. Today, we're gonna to look at some freight. So we're gonna be riding on our food train. It's going from our food processing plant at Dayton 
to the town of Dayton and then on to Everett. Hope you enjoy. Here we are arriving at Everett. I hope you enjoyed this little freight ride on for a change. And that's going to be about all we have time for this episode. So I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you get a ding to your device the next time I post a video. I know this was a bit of a shorter episode this week, I think. But I hope you're still enjoying the series and I'm keen to continue building as we go through the years. You can find links to all my social media in the description, so please jump on there, like, follow, subscribe, do all that wonderful stuff. But until next time, I'm Bob Dendry. This is Transport Fever 2. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.